hey welcome to my channel and to the PJ's edition I've had them on all day didn't feel like changing clothes just to give y'all a menu because I know y'all don't care because <laughs> y'all know I don't care <laughs> listen if they ain't at least one of you out there got your PJ's on right at this very minute I ain't sitting here so still doing simply feeling if I have a recipe with points, I will give you the Simply Feeling points just because I know some of you are following Simply Feeling and that might give you an idea if you want to try the recipe or not. I'm not attempting to do any kind of Weight Watcher points at all because that's just impossible. Everybody's points are different. So um, we'll just get started on the week. Let's see. Wednesday. Some kind of pork chops. I don't know what kind. Some shelly beans and a baked potato. Now, I didn't plan this when I was taking it from my notebook onto my, my little paper here. I realized I had potatoes two days in a row, but that's the way it shook out. And that's the way it's going to stay. Two, two times in a week, whether it's back to back or three or four days in between, I don't figure there's much a difference. So Thursday, and there, there's no points on that supper on Wednesday. Thursday peach glazed chicken which i've made before and i'm going to throw a point at it for the baby food that's used in the glaze that you glaze the chicken with you cook it down with i can't even remember what else is in it but it's really good surprisingly to use baby food and then cream potatoes and field peas and snaps which those will be zero friday enchilada enchil enchilada enchilada casserole two points and corn. I've made the casserole too. I'm just changing um, the cheese and like the simply filling points come down from what it was when I, I think I was on Weight Watchers when I did that. Saturday is going to be a splurge day. Now it's my air fried mustard chicken. I'm telling you, if you want some good air fried chicken what tastes like it's fried chicken you got to try this don't let the mustard throw you it does not take that's my phone hold on okay it has run off the hook all day long anyway it does not taste like mustard and it uses rice flour it is so it is so good we hadn't had it in such a long time now it has points because you eat the skin otherwise you might as well just bake your chicken <laughs> <laughs> is as close to fried chicken you can get without frying it. I I will make, I, I normally buy like a whole cut up chicken. If I can't find that, I'll just make breasts for David so I don't need to worry about those points. And then legs for myself because that's my favorite piece of chicken is a chicken leg. They're like four points each. And I had already calculated how much rice flour sticks to these pieces of chicken when I was doing it, when I was counting points on Weight Watchers, and it comes out to one point per piece of chicken for the rice flour. So it would be five points for each chicken leg. So coming up to Sunday for our eating out, it's going to have to be uh, on plan eating out, like maybe a, a big salad or something from Zaxby's with the grilled chicken, minus the garlic bread, unless I have enough points left from chicken eating. <laughs> And then Monday, one pot spaghetti, which is really best made with home canned tomatoes. But since I don't can anymore, I don't have any of those. So the closest I can get is to like blend up some canned stewed tomatoes. That's as close as I can get. And salad and garlic bread. And we're going to have Sebastian that day. Um, he'll be down Saturday, but since David... He'll be up Monday. I said, well, Monday will be a good day for him to come stay with us because then he'll get to see Papa. And he likes Skitty, so that's why I'm doing that that day. And Tuesday, creamy crock pot burrito chicken. And instead of in tortillas, I'm going to serve that over rice. And that is the, the spaghetti zero and the, bur the burrito chicken is zero because I don't count the cream of chicken soup. We've been through that before. <laughs> <laughs> that is on my Simply Feeling list. Then for um, prep this week, for breakfast, I'm not going to prep anything. I'm just kind of feeling like having some toad in the hole 
couple days this week. Maybe hot cereal the rest of the week. I don't know. Eggs, egg sandwich, something like that. But I feel like a couple days at least having toad in a hole. And that'll be zero because I'll just put enough cheese on there to be is a tablespoon zero points or a tablespoon is one point. One or the other. It's either going to be zero or one. And lunch, I'm going to take my Reuben casserole that I made on low carb and change it to make it a chicken Reuben casserole. So instead of corned beef from the deli, which is would count me points, I'm going to do some cut up chicken. I don't know. I wonder if a rotisserie chicken might be good for that. Hmm. There is an idea. I am going to make myself a note if they have the rotisserie chickens out by the time I get here. here. I think that's, that might be what I use. I might just go ahead and pick the meat off and throw it in the freezer so it stays fresher than just sitting in the fridge up until Saturday. I think, I don't know. Cut up diced chicken cooked might be more substantial, a more substantial meal. I, I'll decide. Anyway, I'm going to make chicken as my base and then the um, cheese instead of good old Swiss cheese, I'm going to use my fat-free mozzarella. You can mix some of the fat-free cheese with a little bit of Greek yogurt, and it'll help spread it out when it melts. Listen, it's zero points. It's what's getting me through. I hadn't had it, I think, since I bought it. I've been using the Velveeta Reds, but I'm going to use it for this. And then that would be one point for the dressing that goes on it, because it I use my Duke's mayonnaise when I was low carb, but since I got to count points now, I'll use David's Hellman's Light, and I'm not thrilled about that, but since I don't use it that often, I don't really want to buy, I like Craft Light, if I have to have light, I'll eat Craft Light, but I don't feel like having it since I don't eat it that often, so I'm just going to use his. <laughs> I don't want to, <laughs> but we do what we got to do, don't we? And then for snack, I'm going to make apple spice oatmeal muffins. They come out to one point for two muffins. And th those recipes, a bunch of these recipes are already on my website. Now, I'm not going to change them to update to simply fill in points. You put that in your own tracker or whatever you're using to um, calculate your recipes. Whatever program I was doing, because you know I've done them all. Whatever program I was doing when I made that recipe, that's going to be the points that are on the, or the carbs or whatever the case may be. That's what will be on the website, but the recipe will be there. And of course, you're always welcome to change up anything, change any ingredient. If you don't want to use fat-free cheese, you use that full-fat cheese. Use it like it's written with the Swiss cheese and the corned beef. How, however you want to switch up a recipe that's on my website, you knock yourself out. You don't worry about hurt my feelings because recipes are basically left up for interpretation anyway. Sometimes I, I will follow a recipe to the, the the note when I'm first making it and then sometimes I already know I'm going to change something because maybe I don't eat a specific ingredient that they have or maybe it's too much of one or maybe not enough. However, so you're more than welcome to change anything that I got. So let's just turn around. We will have a, a Walmart haul and the Harris Teeter Hall, I'm filming this on, this is Tuesday. So unless something changes, that's what you're going to see. So let's just turn around and look. Okay, so ignore Andy Griffith in the background. He's just going to have to come along for the ride. This is my little small Walmart haul. My milk has got milk on it. I don't know if this one leaked. I can't tell. See, it doesn't look very full. I don't know if it, it leaked around the lid or what, but I did hear something turn over in the back that sounded like a jug so I may have done it myself but I didn't want it all over the counter and then my almond milk this was a substitution for the Walmart half and half then the enchilada sauce is for the enchiladas casserole and I needed to replace my mixed vegetables and this, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not but fat free dressing is a simply filling food and they had fat free ranch so if it don't taste good, maybe I can doctor it up. I got two of them. <laughs> I was going to do salads for um, meal prep, and I changed my mind, so that's why I got two of them. I guess one to use and one to have as a backup. 
I don't know, but if I don't like them, there they are. And then I needed to replace my chocolate fudge pudding, and I needed to replace my green chilies. The baby food is for the peach glazed chicken, and it will take both of these because each little tub is only two ounces, and the recipe calls for four. And then another Greek yogurt, since I pretty much used it all up for my cheesecake. And I like to try to get a cheddar when I can, so they had one. I got a, at least one thing that takes some cheese. The fat-free mozzarella is what I'm going to put on my... What did I tell y'all? Oh, my Reuben casserole. And then David was out of his favorite sliced cheese, the Deli Deluxe. And that is all that I got from Walmart. Well, there was a change of plans. Instead of Harris Teeter, I went to Food Line because they had their hams on sale and I needed one for Thanksgiving and they have our favorite chicken. And I got a bargain on that, so I was glad I went. Now, there's things that one store has, the other one doesn't, so I can see myself in the future going to two different ones, but today I got everything I needed between Walmart and Food Line. So I got some eggs and then... The bacon they have, that's the only place I can find the niece's bacon. It's really good. So what I don't use for my recipe, David's going to use that for his breakfast. Now I needed hamburger and they had it marked down as the 93%. I needed two pounds and these are not quite a pound. So I went ahead and got all three. I'm going to, since this is, you can look at it until it's fixing to go out of date. I'm going to go ahead and just divide it out and pop it in the freezer until I need it. And then they don't have fat-free sour cream, so I'm going to have to make do with the light, or either I can use my Greek yogurt. I needed a lot of chicken this week, so I was lucky to find these. The Nature's Promise, that's our favorite chicken. There's like six individually wrapped chicken breasts in here. So $4.79, there was three of them, so I got all three, because those go straight in the freezer. And then pork chops is tonight, I think. And they happen to have this marked down. And David loves the ones on the bone. So that is supper tonight. And then instead of the whole cut up chicken that I didn't see, I got him the split chicken breast and me the chicken legs. That's for our air fryer mustard chicken. And then this is just a two pound pack that I need for... Um, I think it's the creamy burrito chicken. I think. I could be wrong. But I think that's what that goes for. And then they were out of all the soups in the world they were out of. It was the Healthy Request cream of chicken. So I'm just going with the 98% fat free and calling it a day. I was just about out of the dried garlic. So I got some more of that. And then David, he likes to have little things like this, like he says, on standby. For just when he's tired, he's hungry, he's sick of breakfast, <laughs> whatever. He's been working outside. He wants to come in and get something quick. So he likes these little chicken and cheese, chimichangas, and then a couple um, TV dinners. This time I got him the Salisbury steak with macaroni and cheese, and then his favorite turkey tenderloin with the sweet potatoes. And then the rest is produce, pretty much. The butternut squash, they'll last till Thanksgiving. Those are for my pies. That right there should make... Two deep dish pies. Um, maybe pushing three, but definitely two. And there's my ham I got. And then Food Line is where they have his favorite avocado mash. So I got that while I was there. It's the Good Foods brand. He likes that better than all of them. And for salad with our skeddy, they don't have the green leaf like I get at Harris Teeter. But I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> tired of that leafy part of it. I'm eating the last of it up to get my vegetables in this week. But the leafy part is just about getting to me like that. That's what David likes, the spring mix with the spinach in it. I, Y'all know. Y'all know me. I don't eat that mess. So I found this romaine that's already chopped up. I don't care for carrots and purple cabbage in my salad, but I'll deal with it. And then the sweet potato and the two turnips and... The Brussels sprouts are for the fall vegetable hash I'm going to try. It'll only use half of that bag, but 
maybe I'll, I don't, I don't know what I'll do with the other half. I guess I'll just roast them off. And then cucumber for salad. And I thought, well, maybe I'll get me a cucumber for eating. Because I'm going to try to eat some vegetables. That's why I got this. I love these little things. I just never get them because then I turn up, uh, don't get around to eating them. But since we're doing this challenge and eating our vegetables is one of them. Since I know I like these, I'm going to work on these. And then I got this because when I bought these for that recipe the other week, I had washed them and set them up here on the counter. And I would find myself every time I walked by, I'd pop a little cherry tomato in my mouth. And these are like so delicious. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wash them, let them dry, set them over here on the counter, and then just have that instead of, well, I don't know. I don't really have anything. Well, I do. There's still some candy left over there, which I'm saving for Sebastian. So anyway, that's what I got at Food Lion. I did pretty good. I saved a lot of money, especially with the Markdown meat that I would have had to spend at Harris Teeter. The the beef alone saved me over three dollars a pop. So <laughs> and the chicken, I don't know how much that saved me. Anyway. All right. Well that is it for me this week. I hope everybody has a good hump day. And we'll check in tomorrow on weigh in. So I will see you then.